Hey everyone, it's Biagio again from beehivekits.org and this is the third video in our educational series. So if you've watched the other two, thanks for joining again. If you haven't, um, you can check those videos out in, in the video series. Um, you'll find a link to those in the playlist. And this video is gonna cover your beekeeper hats and apparel. So uh, for those of you that, uh, that haven't seen the other videos, um, beehivekits.org is kind of separated into two sections. So um, we have a shop section which offers high quality beekeeping supplies and beehive starter kits. And then we have a huge learning center uh, where we just offer free educational materials on becoming a beekeeper. So we think it's really important for for everybody to educate themselves and learn as much as they can about beekeeping before they get into the hobby. Um, you know, it's, it's an amazing and a very rewarding hobby, but before you make any purchases, you know, we just encourage, we encourage uh, people to learn uh, about what they're getting into and, and what they need to get started. So with that being said, again, this is the third video in the series. We're going to be looking at the beekeeper hats and apparel section of the site. And, um, you know, uh, the beekeeper hat is probably one of the most well-known um, uh, items uh, in terms of it's, it's one of the icon items of, of being a beekeeper. Um, I think everybody pictures pictures the hat and the suit when they think beekeeper. So there's um, there's different a lot of different types of hats, um, and we're kind of just going to go run through them today. So um, you know, again, having the right hats and 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 beekeeper suits is really important, just because it, it keeps you protected um, from stings. Um, you know, some of you might be allergic, so the, the last thing you want is to get stung. Um, the last video covered bee smokers, which are kind of your first line of defense. Smokers will calm the bees. And then your second line of defense is going to be your beekeeper veil and, and hat and um, suit. So uh, beekeeper hats, there's, there's quite a different few varieties. Um, basically, they're, they're all made up of two sections, though. There's kind of a, a top hat section and then a veil. So you, you can purchase thing you can purchase the pieces independently, um, uh, or you can purchase it all as as in, as one, in, all in one really. Uh, this this model here, what you see here is a hard hat and then a veil. This this one I believe is made by Man Lake. Um, we'll check that in a moment. Um, but uh, some of them are round, some of them are square. Um, I like the ones that that have this guard here that come down much lower to to kind of integrate with your suit or your jacket um, and again the the purpose of this is just to keep the bees out of your face um, from stinging your neck your face your ears getting into in, into your mouth or your ears obviously is is uh, a beekeeper's nightmare so uh, if you get a good quality hat that will that will help prevent any of those terrible things from happening but uh, again, if you, if you approach this correctly, you know, you'll be, you and your bees will stay really safe. So, um, we'll look at hats and different suits and gloves, uh, once we move on to the next section, but I just want to do a brief overview first. Uh, when it comes to suits, um, there's, there's basically two different styles. There's your full beekeeper suit, which is a head to toe suit. And then your, there's your beekeeper jacket. Um, a lot of people actually use just a jacket and a hat, and then they just wear, you know, boots and jeans. Um, so it, it really depends on on um, your preference. If if you're a little braver and you just want to go with a jacket and a and a hat, um, gloves obviously. Um, but I know a lot of veteran beekeepers. Some of them will just go with a, a hat or a veil. Um, personally, I like to wear a full suit. I would suggest for a beginner to just get a full suit. This way you know that you're protected head to toe. Um, now when it comes to gloves, uh, all of the gloves that we offer in the shop section are super high quality. 
They're typically made of um, really thick leather and they're sting proof. Um, you know, there's, you just have to really, with the gloves, you just have to make sure that, um, you know, you purchase the right size. Other than that, um, the gloves are pretty standard and all of them will get the job done. So, uh, oh, last but not least, uh, there's a small section on beekeeper footwear. Um, there's, n there's not really particularly special beekeeper um, boots or anything like that. Most people will wear um, rubber rain boots or rubber garden boots um, in terms of uh, footwear. So that being said, um, I hope that was a decent overview. Uh, I'm just going to go to the different sections just to give you an idea of the different types of um, hats, suits, and gloves. So you can go to the shop section or just choose it from the categories here, but we'll navigate this way. Uh, here's our beekeeper hats. So like I was saying before, um, these are your, these are your veils. These are your veil type hats. Um, and these are more of your, uh, these have hard hats. So you can see here, we'll click this one. And there's also round and square. Um, you know, but with this particular one, um, you, you see that this has like sort of a hard plastic hat and the veil fits over that. And then you have the, um, the longer um, kind of a neck guard that drapes over your shoulders. Um, like I said, this was a man lake. They, they tend to have the higher quality hats. Um, this is a square construction. Um, really, there's no difference between square and round. With a square, you might have this obstructing your view a little. Um, but personally, I like the square construction. I just, I just like the way it sits sits on my on my head better. Um, they they do offer round veils, also known as an Alexander veil. So you can see here, this doesn't have a hard hat. Um, your head just sits in here. Again, it has the longer um, guard here for your neck that drapes over your shoulders. Um, the thing with this, uh, this design is, you know, you can wear it pretty much with anything underneath. A baseball cap is what they're suggesting. This design is your, this is kind of a funny picture, so we'll, we'll go with this one. This design is just your uh, really simple um, veil um, and, and a soft hat. So um, again, a little bit more simple than the, than the Man Lake. Um, but you know these, these all get the job done. We made sure to list only um, the highest quality hats. And, and also, if you, if you click on the item and, and scroll down, you'll notice that we've integrated Amazon reviews. So these are all third-party verified purchasers from Amazon. So you can read reviews. You can see this one as th this particular one is f four out of five star reviews. Um, just to give you some confidence that um, you know whatever you're purchasing, you can see what other people, other customers are saying about it. Um, so everybody seems to like this one a lot. Now we'll move on. So that's about it for hats. Um, let's move on to suits. So some suits actually come with um, the veil attached. Um, we'll click this one, for example. So you can see here, this, this suit is more of a jacket. Um, and it has the, the head, the hood attached to it. It kind of looks like a fencing veil. That's why it's called with removable fencing veil. So this piece comes off, but for some reason, the pictures aren't working here, but you can see what it looks like when it's on. Um, so he has, it, it only cover, goes down to his waist. So this one isn't a full suit. It's just more of a jacket with a fencing veil style hood. Um, again, you wouldn't buy the, the, the fencing veil individually. That's why it actually is attached to this jacket. Um, the only thing I have to say really, if you're searching through these is just make sure you're buying the correct size. Because in the shopping section, a lot of these uh, look like the same item, but really the only difference is the size that um, that the item is. So um, this this one is the same sort of jacket, uh, but you can see instead of a um, a fencing veil style, it's more of a it's more of a round 
a round veil instead of uh, a fencing veil. And again, he would have gloves on, obviously. So we'll go back. Um, now that was uh, that was almost like a jacket style. You can see here. Um, here, I want to find one that's more of a full suit. So you can see here, this is a full head-to-toe suit. Um, you would just wear your shoes and uh, gloves. But uh, this style covers you from top to bottom. These are the suits that I prefer to wear. They're a little bit more expensive, but typically they, come, um, they already come with uh, a veil or a hat. And again, you can go down, and this one doesn't have any Amazon reviews, but um, most of most of our products do. There's, uh, we do have ones for kids as well. There's different styles. We'll check this one out here. This one's a camo style, just so that you can see. There's there's a different variety. I have a blue suit, um, but you know, this just gives you an, an idea. Again, this is a fencing veil style. So you won't have to worry about buying a hat, and um, you know this just gives you some some um, bullet points. Uh, the elastics on the wrist and the ankles are just uh, really helpful, so that the suit doesn't ride up on you, or or you know, it, so so your none of your skin becomes ex exposed while you're using it and working. So uh, the elastics here over the thumbs and then under your feet are just so that the suit can't, the, the arms and the legs of the suit can't shift on you and uh, potentially exposing your skin to sting. So that's a nice uh, added touch. Now moving on from suits, let's take a quick look at gloves. Um, like I said, gloves are pretty standard. Um, you just want to make sure you're getting the right size. There's even a sizing chart here. Um, so they range anywhere from really 10 to, I would say about um, 30 bucks um, for a good pair of gloves. Um, and all the gloves on our site are high quality and they're all going to get the job done. So, um, you know, it's really a matter of preference uh, and look maybe, but usually you have um, high quality leather that the bees cannot sting through. So again, not much to say about the gloves. They're pretty standard. Um, here you'll see reviews on these gloves. This is a, a high quality pair. It's about four and a half stars out of five. So that's it for the, the apparel, the hats and protective gear. Um, uh, you know, a lot of it's just preference. Uh, what type of what shape of veil or hat you want to use, etc. Um, we we offer the, you know the most commonly used um, varieties basically um, and products. So um, everything's pretty standard. There there is there is a little bit of personalization, you know, uh, in terms of how you want some things to look. But um, for the most part, uh, everything's everything's pretty standard, and uh, you know you'll know that you know, you're protected from stings. So that's, that's really the, the big takeaway from, from this video. So I hope we did a decent job in covering, um, protective gear and, um, thanks again for your time. If you haven't seen the other videos on beehive starter kits or bee smokers, uh, please check them out. And, uh, from all of us at beehivekits.org, we just want to say thanks and good luck and have a great day.